body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! What's going on guys, it's Cynical. So I'm sure by now you guys have a lot of queries about the two different versions of Jack and Daxter here running on the PlayStation 3 as well as running on the PlayStation 4. In case you guys don't know, Jack and Daxter recently got released on PS4 as part of the PlayStation 2 Classics. And if you guys bought Uncharted The Lost Legacy, you will get this game for free. Otherwise, you can go over to the PlayStation Store and buy it now. Now, I'm just going to say this straight off the bat. The quality level of Jack and Daxter on PlayStation 3 is quite clearly and obviously better than the quality that we see presented on the PlayStation 4. 
Now, there's actually a very good reason behind this. The PlayStation 2 Classics lineup on PlayStation 4 is really just essentially the core PlayStation 2 game, just with increased resolution. This means that there's no developers or any sort of company that went behind the game to actually fix certain things that need fixing, like increasing texture detail, anti-aliasing. More so, what's happened here is the game has just simply been enabled for trophy support and upraised to 1080p, and that's really as far as it goes. When looking towards the PlayStation 3 version of Jack and Daxter, a company literally actually spent time working on this game to make it look better for the system itself. This is why we see physical versions of these HD collections for PlayStation 3 that we've seen many PS2 classics receive. So the polishing within the PlayStation 3 version is, yeah, a lot better than what we're seeing on the PlayStation 4 version. For an example, the grass detail right here on the PlayStation 3 version looks pretty damn good. Good, but then comparing it to the PlayStation 4 version, you guys will notice that there is just less detail in the grass. And this is something that was present on the very original PlayStation 2 version, but was touched up a little bit for the HD collection version for the PlayStation 3. Another thing that I noticed is the lighting seems to be a little bit darker on the PlayStation 3 version compared to that of the PlayStation 4 version, where the lighting seems to be a little bit lighter. And honestly, I kind of prefer the lighter lighting setting that they've got going on here. And also another interesting detail is on the PlayStation 3 version, we can clearly see off in the distance, uh, beyond the sea, we can see some mountains, and these mountains are actually completely different on the original PlayStation 2 version that we see on the PS4. On top of that, on the PlayStation 4 version, we see this green blinking star up in the sky, and then on the PlayStation 3 version, this is actually completely removed. So in some aspects, I believe that the PlayStation 4 version actually looks a little bit better than the PlayStation 3, but then overall, the HD collection version of Jack and Daxter seems to be better in quality. As of course, the HD collection version of Jack and Daxter has actually had a lot of touch-ups and polishing to do with it, whereas the version that we're presented with on the PlayStation 4 is just simply the bare-bones PlayStation 2 game with a bit of an up-res. But however guys, that's all from me today. I thought I'd get a little bit of a bonus video out, seeing as uh, Jack and Daxter just recently released on the PlayStation 4. What is kind of strange as of right now is uh, the rest of the Jack and Daxter games are currently not on PS4, and there is currently no news as to when those games will be releasing, so hopefully sometime soon. In the comment section down below, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions towards this. Have you picked up Jack and Dax for PlayStation 4 yet? I'd love to know. However guys, I've been Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you dudes later. Peace.